Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Mini Betrayal, and this is Satisfactory. Uh, last episode, um, I am not high up enough to see. Oh, I've just noticed there's a what looks like a power slug up there. I'll have to go and get that in a little bit. Uh, but yes, we've basically completely redesigned the starting area. Um, oh, and we've got a thing coming back. Um, so let's see. I should be able to get most of obstacle clearing done and dusted now, actually. Uh, if I run over here, uh, one of these, this one, has um, rods in it. And oh, I need some extra rods to turn into screws for the um, reinforced plates. And around here, this one has cables in it. Yoink! I'll need to turn some of those, or oh, it has wire in it, I'll need to turn some of those into cables. That was easy. And then, yeah, it's just the ten plates I need to make. Okay, so, 200 rods, 10 reinforced plates, 250 cables, 50 wires, launch pod. Milestone reached. Additional to an inventory expansion, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Excellent. Okay, so um, what do I need to make the chainsaw? I need another ten plates, some more cable. Okay, let me go and make that quickly. Okay, we've got a chainsaw, and I believe the chainsaw needs... Um, I know it definitely needs fuel. I don't know if it specifically needs biofuel. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work on biomass. Uh, okay, let me go make some biofuel, I guess. Okay, so I've made as much biofuel as I can, uh, which kind of also involves shutting down the factory. Um, I've made two and a half stacks of biofuel. What I'm going to do, though, is let's test out this... Uh, where is it? There. Let's test out... Um, let's see. That one? Oh, yeah, that seemed to work. Okay, let me find some trees. I don't think... not enough space for NA. Well, that's gone now. I don't know if the nuts grow back or not. But anyway, I'll go find some trees. I'll make as much biofuel as I can. That'll be enough to stock up both um, the power and... Um, the chainsaw, hopefully. I got limestone out of a tree. Because that makes sense. I think I am getting limestone out of the trees. Um, well, let me just pick up... There's some limestone just here, sitting on the side of the mountain. So, I'll pick this up. But, yeah, I'm, f I'm fairly sure that just cutting down the trees is giving me straight up limestone. Odd. Okay, so it says that I've got 166 limestone. If I cut down this tree... Okay, that one didn't give me any limestone. What about these ones over here? Yeah, that just gave me 12 lim... That's very odd. Okay, we've got a full inventory. Uh, oh, I need to cut down that tree because it's in the way. Let's um, turn the leaves and wood I have collected into biofuel, and we can get our factory up and running again. Okay, I believe that is mu as much um, biomass as I'm going to get, so let's stick... Oh. Let's stick a stack in everything that we can. So I've got those two over there, and these three burners over here. Oh, a bit closer. There we go. Stack for you, stack for you, and a stack for you, and chunk, turn that on. Excellent. So I've got an extra two stacks plus another 53. I'll, I'll keep the 53 on me in case I only need to cut down any more trees. In fact, I know I need to cut down a couple more trees. Um, got a, oh, we've run out of space over here. Um, let's pick up that iron ore. 
Uh, I can probably do something more useful with that, and I've got a bunch of plates in here as well. Okay, have we got space in one of these smelters? Uh, yes, you can have all of that. And then there's probably another smelter I can put the last little bit into. There we go. Lovely. Okay, let me pick up what concrete I've got. Excellent. And then I am going to go and lay down a little bit more foundation. Cool. Alright, so yeah, I have... Um, expanded the let me hop up on this rock to give a bit of a better view I've expanded the foundation here um, now there is a little bit of a problem that I didn't foresee over in the far corner there if I get a bit closer we should start to be able to see it also I've just seen there's another power slug up there yep poison gas um, I believe there are ways to deal with that later in the game but not much we can do about it right now so let me let me find a little bit of a better vantage point uh, in fact I'll be right with you okay so what I am thinking uh, is that basically um, so I'll have the space elevator towards this end um, that way, the easier materials that I need to put into the space elevator later on, I can just grab from my starter base. And then the bigger factories I can put on the other side of it, leading back this way, I think. I had no idea how it will work in the long run. However, I've just used all my concrete making foundations, so I need to wait to make another... 450 or 466, 446 concrete, um, which might take a little while. Uh, the copper cable shouldn't take too long because, you know, that's that's just chugging along doing its thing. Um, oh, oh yes, also I built a lookout tower here because I was looking for a nice vantage point and this seems to work quite nicely. I guess I just need to wait for a bit then. I'll go and get that power slug in the meantime. Yoink! There we go. You know, this, I, I'm going to build a lookout tower here. Whoop. Um, organization lookout tower. Come on. You know what? Let's, um. If I put that there. And build a ramp up to it. Then put a lookout tower up here. That's a nice view. Okay, we've completed green power slug analysis as well. Let's see what the message is. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into a power shard that functions with current fixit technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Let's see, Hub Tier 1, overclock production. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, oh, no, it is this one we need. Uh, I've just dropped all my stuff. We'll come back to that. Uh, let's put the slug away and the petals away. Okay. All of the biomass, please. Okay, so um, that should be enough in the way of biomass, hopefully, to sort of last us until we get to like the coal stage of the game. At least that's what I'm hoping. Uh, I'll just pick up that box that had all my stuff in it. Uh, ooh, let's not deconstruct the hab. Uh, okay, how are we doing for concrete? I think this was the concrete one. 
terrible. Why? It's just slow. Should we go and get another limestone deposit? Yeah, let's get another limestone deposit. I think I saw one over in this direction. Uh, let me check. Yes. Uh, let's do this on the lookout tower here, just so we can sort of see, see what's what, see what we're doing. And up. Okay, so that's the deposit there. Let's build a miner facing the right way. Um, which way do we want to face this actually? Let's face it that way. Okay, so that'll build that. Then we want, not a smelter, a constructor. And I don't have any reinforced iron plates. Grrr! Alright. Okay, let's try that again. Constructor, and let's match it up with that. That doesn't seem to be matched up, but I'll try it from there to there. Okay, that seems to work. And then uh, we want some power. Or in fact, let's just put a power pole there. And we'll hook that to that one, that to that one, and then that to that one. That should power it. Yep, there's the miner starting up. We will need to configure that to tell it to make concrete. Then I'd need to get the concrete into the box over there. So what I'm thinking is we take it over this way behind those miners and join it up over that way. Really? That pushed us over on power? Seriously? Fine, I'll go and deal with that in a second as well. Let's get this bit done first. Uh, okay, so what I'm thinking is we'll just bring this to uh, about there. And then let's see if I know how to do this. If I put a pole there and then drag it up by one. And then a pole there and up by one. That might need to go up by two, actually, but we'll we'll try it. Yeah, that seems to work. Now we just need to take it over here behind these deposits. And then I just need to put it into the same line as this conveyor here with a merger. Now, I was under the impression that... Mergers would snap onto belts? Ah, oh, you have to press control and then they then they snap onto belts maybe? Yes. Press control, or press and hold control I guess, and it will snap onto an existing belt. In theory. There. Okay, and then I just need to bring you into there. A little bit of a wobble, but that seems to work. Okay. Let's go build ourselves another biomass burner then. I'll be facing the same way as the others. Bonk. Hook it up to power. Fuel it. And chunk. There we go. That should get things running again, and should double our concrete production. Let's go have a quick check, make sure everything's working. Seems to be doing as nicely as one might expect. And let's make sure the belt works as well. Okay, so... Yeah, that seems to be... Better. Still not perfect, but certainly better. Um, okay, and how much have we got? Okay, we're about halfway to the 500 we need. Let's do some smaller bits of science in the meantime. Okay, um, so have I got all of that stuff on me that I need for that one? Yes, yes I do. Let's do overclock production. 
Uh, so that one, that one, and that one. Go. Okay. Now this make this lets us craft the power shard, which takes one green slug. So what I'm going to do, if I get my green slugs, I can craft two power shards. And let's go visit the stone mining area over here. So let's look at production rates. So this miner is making 30 limestone per minute. This is on, this can use 45 per minute. So the limiting factor here is actually this miner. So if I go into the miner, you can see we've now unlocked this overclock bit. So if I put in a power shard, can I put in a power shard please? Oh, I can turn it right down if I want to. I don't know why I would want to. Maybe it uses less power if I do that. No, it doesn't appear to. Um, Give me a second. Ah, it's click and drag. There we go. So now th I can make this go up to 150% speed, which does use significantly more power. So that was from, let's put it back to 100. So that's five megawatts up to 9.6 megawatts, so almost twice as much. But now it's making 45 per minute, which means this should be able to run full time. And if we go and do the same with the other one, I should also check power somewhere on the way. Uh, yeah, yeah, we should we should be safe to overclock the other stone miner as well. Because of course we've got the same problem over here. That this is mining at 30 per minute and that can use it at up to 45 per minute. So, if I click and drag there, note to the developers if for whatever reason you should watch this, I feel as though I should be able to shift click or double click the power shard from here. Um, oh, wait. Okay, I thought I might have broken something there by doing that and then taking that out, because it still says clock speed 150%, but no, it doesn't work like that. So, you might actually be able to see an increase in speed on the... Oh no, an increase in compression on the belt is the right word there. Okay, back to the waiting game. Okay, while we're waiting for concrete, uh, we can continue doing some science. So let's do part assembly. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. So that, I believe, allows us to make the assembler, which can take two inputs rather than just the one. Uh, let's see what the man is doing. Flower petals is done. R&D wishes me to tell you these colored petals are useful for two things, dating and creating color cartridges. Mandatory reminder that you are under 24-7 surveillance. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. Okay. And we need 10 alien carapace to unlock whatever that is. Um, let's see, tier 2, the, the colour gun. Okay, well let's keep going in order. Um, so what is it I need for that? Plates, rods, and cables. Cables is easy. And then plates and rods we can grab from here. There's plates. That's actually all backed up, lovely. Well it was backed up. Yeah. That might even help with power. It gets backed up like that. How are we doing for cable? Uh, oh, I might need to keep an eye on not using too much cable. Okay. Nearly there. We've got, uh, we got more than 400 of the um, concrete now. Um, right, I can't actually do anything new until the pod gets back. Ho oh, hum. If the developers of Satisfactory play Factorio, and I, to be quite honest, I will be astounded if they don't, 
Um, I suspect they play with the bottleneck mod, because just looking at this, um, the lights on the factories, you can see most of them are green, meaning that they're working, um, and remember they turn red if they're not working. Also, apparently they turn yellow, and they turn yellow when the output is backed up, which I think is the same as the bottleneck mod in Factorio. Uh, anyway, it's just a, a useful little design decision. Well done, developers. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's build a space elevator. Right, now which way round do I want to put this? Uh, okay, because I'm putting it on um, a foundation, it will automatically lock to 90 degree rotations. But I think I will put it this way around, no, or no. I'll put it this, I keep changing my mind. I'll put it this way round, and let's see if we can get it roughly centred on the bit we've got so far. Okay, and I'm going to build it. And then once this is built, it has quite a cool animation. I want to make sure I can see properly. So yeah, that all flies out of my backpack. And then look up. So the, those hook things come out, and then this, you can see, that comes down quite fast, there we go, kind of crashes into what we've built, and hook, and then that kind of descends down. So, yeah, as, uh, essentially what we actually built was just a massive hook on the ground. But that's not too dissimilar from how a space elevator would probably work. Because a space elevator is not necessarily a tower that's built up. It's kind of something that hangs down from something in geostationary orbit. Um, so if I drop down here... You can see that goes way, way up, way out of view, and for thousands and thousands of miles up there. Okay, so let's go and see what we can do with this bad boy. Okay, so this wants 75 reinforced iron plates and 50 rotors, and then we can seal it and send that up, and that will unlock tiers 3 and 4. Alright, um, okay, well the pod is back as well, so let's continue with the normal research. Okay, there's that one done. So that gives us jump pads and landing pads. Including several different categories of jump pads can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. Okay, so I want to get me some biomass so I can build a U-Jelly landing pad. And maybe a jump pad as well. Let's get the landing pad first. Unfortunately, I think I turned all my biomass into biofuel, which doesn't really help. Damn it. Okay, so I'm going to get me a landing pad over here. And I'm going to put it where I can fall down from that observation platform that we built up there. So... Yeah, about here, I think. Does it have a particular way around it needs to go? I don't think so. Oh, let's just nestle it in there. Actually, that that's that's too nestled. Let's let's move that. I might actually go up there and construct it from up there, somewhere that I know I can actually get to. All right, let's be careful. And, yeah, let's build it there. Okay, and that will need to be connected to power. Um, let's see, where's a good place to connect it to power? I think... Oh, no, that's already got four. I think they've all got four around there. Okay, let's get rid of that. 
And instead, let's put a power line there and connect that to that one. Okay, so that powers it, which means deep breath. Excellent. No full damage. Now let's see if there's a quick way of getting back up there. So we've got a jump pad, so I need a couple of reinforced iron plates for that. I'll just go and handcraft them. Okay, so... Uh, where was it? No, organization. That was it, so a jump pad. Okay, and let's hook this up to power as well. See what happens when I get on it. That's not high enough. Ow! Okay, that kind of... Hmm, so a jump pad isn't high enough to get up there. So if I do go up there, I'll have to do it the long way around. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so I did come up with another way of getting up there. Takes a little bit longer than a jump pad, um, but I've just done the research and built some stairs. So, let's head up this way. I'll go up. I'm gonna try not to fall off. There we go. <laughs> Might build some walls around this just to make it a little bit easier. And a little walkway to finish off. And come over here. And up we go. Okay. And then with a lovely view of the factory and the space elevator. This would make a really nice thumbnail if I did thumbnails like that. Uh, but yes, lovely view there. I think we'll leave it there for this episode. In the meantime, I will say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.